Hi, this is Trey Fasher. I'm going to do a reaction review to The Boys, Season 2, Episode 5. Okay, I'm loving this season so far, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in this episode. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, let me put my headphones in. There we go. Here we go, right now, go. They want us to believe that boss superheroes are the only answer. What else are they lying to us about? Hmm. Hey, train you're out. Out of what? Out of seven. Uh. I ended the relationship when I met you. Stop fucking lying to me. Uh. And you love her? We shouldn't feel so calm or safe. Queen A. Ruby. Ruby! To be who you really are. Me, I'm... I'm afraid to... to show the world who I am. Yeah? So who are you, Maeve? I'm a lot like you. I'm gay. When are you gonna stop torturing me? I don't know what you're talking about. If I promise to never see her again, will you stop? But May, you're in love. You son of a bitch. Uh. Terrific! What the hell was that? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine. Nine and a half. What the? Please don't press until the crisis team is an actionable strategy. Okay. Bad day. It's not right. Hey, I'm with you. Fuck these maxi pad wearing in gray pics. But you know, there's a way to handle it. Oh, what are you gonna do, Butcher? Oh boy. I don't know if that's gonna make it hurt any less, but why not? What fresh farms? Really? Is that fresh? Mm. Um, she probably murdered Rainer, and he's trying to figure out why, but, you know, who the fuck knows? Well, as long as Starlight's on the job, we're sorted then, yeah? I'm not... I'm not mad, you know? Well, you may. I, I, I just... I know, we've been through some shit together. You, uh... You were always like my canary, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Uh, listen, I just got off the phone with Butcher, and I think something might be wrong. Like, really, really wrong. What would make you think that? He was nice. Yeah. And... Called me his canary? <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's good news. And now the CG mutants approach! And there's the bad news. There's no way we can restore the grid if we don't get that flash drive to the tower. But how are you gonna get through all of them? Don't worry. Girls get it done. Ah! He knows who you really are. Okay. And turning now to superhero news. <laughs> it's Yoda. Seven member the deep surprised everybody last week when he married Cassandra Schwartz, an anthropology professor at Vassar in an intimate ceremony. Now the couple have asked. Banana to spread in fast. They were not fast enough. <laughs> I ain't seen him. Now where's me boy? Hey, Tara. <laughs> Little rascal, eh? Hey? Look at you, little fucking human. You used to think that you mean better will grow old together. That is stupid. Turns out she don't. Oh, the fuck was only ever for? You definitely just don't need that giant expo dump at the end. Your big farewell speech. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's better if we just leave it open-ended. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh, where we can just play it in looks and just not a whole bunch of words. <laughs> right? Right. Ooh, by the way, I got the crew of Vietnamese crepe truck. They make a gluten-free bonsai out. It is fantastic. What? You're gonna be great, baby. Where are we going? Oh, huh. Dean, you look so happy. I hardly recognize members of the Church of the Collective. Да ну бред это какой-то. Александр Гементон никогда не был фуэртамериканцем. Это то и дело. Это там метафора, дело, опыт, эмигрантов в Америке. Но он белый, чувак, белый! 
Znaj też ta ponasta ja się mu blażena. Thought you were retiring. Argentina, right? I am. What are you doing here? Well, Huey heard a dog toy on the phone. Mm -hmm. I know you keep terror at your aunt, so... Mm -hmm. Brilliant, is it? Well, friend. What? It's fuck pig. Ah! <laughs> uh oh what is that? Huh? She didn't want out. I'll explain everything. But right now, we're in a little bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Judy, I shouldn't have come. Okay, maybe... Maybe... Not this big. Really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that her mom? Mom? I like this one. Mom, this isn't a great time. I, I know that you're busy, but you don't have to entertain me, I promise. I, I wanted to see you, sweetheart. I... I miss you. Hmm. I did. I, I'm hoping that you'll that you'll forgive me. Ah. Please forgive me. This is not the time for the place for this. Look, everyone is upset about Compound V. I mean, someone was so upset they leaked it. Hmm. Okay, now. Queen Maeve, a goddess, but our Empress of the other world struggles inside. Questions of identity rock her to her core until she meets Elena. The connection is immediate, all consuming a sweet, sapphic love blossoms, raising Maeve's consciousness and a tailored look. What? That looks like menswear. Pew research shows that two feminine women in a relationship sends a problematic message. Yeah, this isn't penthouse form. Americans are more accepting of gays when they're in a clear cut gender role relationship, like Ellen and Portia. Ah! Let's get one thing straight. I'm gonna cash in my vacation days and go stay with my sister. No, you can't do that. Why? I'm not under contract. This is Homelander, okay? And he's fucking with me. Mm. And if you go out there, Elena, there is nowhere you can go that he won't find you. Mm. Please. Roger? Yeah. Uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. What's going on? That ninja comes here for me, isn't he? Yeah, but you can't go out there, he'll kill you. Guess not. You don't think I thought about cashing it in after Robin? Because I do. Still. A lot. But I don't. Of being alone, Huey. First you let you on to Robin, then Starlight, and now me. Well, you know what, son? I ain't interested. I'll just get out of fuck. Oh, she's meeting her. This place, dear. Oh, boy. Wait. This is poison for your soul, I know. Come with me, Mooka. Oh, man. Oh, man. Remember when you were young and the world was full of possibilities? Mm -hmm. Before all the mistakes, heartbreaks, and disappointments? What if you could go back to the way things were? I used to be angry, mm -hmm. insecure, and unsure. It's a bunch of bullshit. Uh. Didn't used to be. Church used to mean something. Oh, what do you remember? I was, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. That place used to be pure. And then they just started letting all kinds of people in, mm. you know? Please. Adam tells me you don't want to do the scene. This can't be a part of something I don't believe in. <laughs> Look, I know it's not easy losing my job, okay? When I got fired, I tendered my way through Barcelona. Everyone in that city ate my paella. Fuck the guy with elephantitis. But I got through it. The fucking process. It's your choice. Huh. You know, the truth is, I've been my whole life. Come on, Tiffany, we need you over at MoCap. You okay? Huh. Yes, it's true. Bot has all the money and the power. And we have 
No offense, Jack Shit. But after Homelander's war crime. Great. Didn't you love that little walk like an Egyptian dance you did online? So fun. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Fun. It's not what we're here for, is it? Let me just start by saying how pleased I am to see you all here. I really Everyone get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Fuck you! Get out! Mm. Wait, this happened no. before? How many times? Well, no, hold, hold on, guys. Yeah. My point is, we all have the same goals, don't we? To keep our country safe. Of course not. But if you've served with our amazing... Ah! That's gotta be a dream. Yeah. Wasn't it? I got the time is bringing the sea sword down on Dorian's noggin. Wham, wham. <laughs> Probably gonna top him. Kids, teachers trying to drag Billy away, but no. No good. Not gonna happen. Dorian's a goner. And then, Lenny steps in. Face all bleeding. And Lenny. What? What happened? Whoa! Yeah, be quiet. Hey, Whoa! Come on, everybody, out! Jesus. So you want to take me on, do you? Think you've got a bullocks? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on then. Cunt. <laughs> Oh boy. You oh boy. And Ford has been hiding his little laser eye bastard. Now you can't swim to a lot of trouble to keep out a secret. I reckon you might want to keep it that way. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, you got yourself a deal. Wanna shake on it? Mm hmm. Put the wire on. Wait, this is once a word. <laughs> For your soul. Hi. Nate, oh my god, hi. I brought you here. Oh. <laughs> Wait, are you. Are you, do you want to check this out? Oh, fuck no. Okay. <laughs> Listen, uh, we should talk. Yeah. If any of these movies are gonna help you get back into seven, and that's a big. What are you looking to find? broker some kind of peace between us because I don't want it. Uh -huh. Wow, that was... Really... That. Well, how do you think the world will feel when I tell them that you used to be Liberty? Uh -huh. Wow. You are a special kind of poison flower, huh? Going against your own people? Uh -huh. You mean fucking... No! Just between us girls, right, Starlight? Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. See you around. Mm -hmm. mm. Can't wait to shoot our scene together. Mm. Yeah, me too. Well, what are you ever going to do to repay me? Mm. 
Well, here we are. Hmm. I'm sorry. I almost forgot. I got you something. Terra? Fuck it. Wow. an interesting episode to say the least butcher looks seemed like he had his death wish you now that you know his wife didn't want to come with him so he seemed like he wanted to kill himself <laughs> uh, then he went to visit his aunt okay uh, but again black noir was, which he saw for the last episode was tracking him and was sent there and he was actually gonna kill him but apparently <laughs> butcher thinking fast <laughs> remember that you know that you know the son that Homelander has that's a secret and use that and Edgar knows that of course obviously and he can't have that come out you know that'll ruin the whole image and stuff of the seven and stuff and hurt bought shares and stuff so look good thing he pulled that out of his, out of his behind <laughs> good smart thinking for the butcher but uh now we know why uh, or at least partly why uh uh the butcher sort of like Huey because he reminds him of his brother okay which you know which is a, a good thing Anyway, and now, Starlight, oh, she's just, now we know, she knows that she knows <laughs> that she leaked the stuff, that uh, Stormfront knows she leaked the stuff, and see, I feel for for Starlight, because she's, you know, she's getting herself into situations where people are finding out, you know, stuff that she knows, and now, now what prevents, you know, Stormfront from telling Homelander, but she probably won't tell her, right, tell him right away anyway. Uh, you know, to stretch the drama of it out. But she's just, you know, more people are finding out the secrets, and now she knows that she knows that she was Stormfront. And and the reason Stormfront ain't worried about that, because uh, I'm, I'm sure Vought has scraped out every evidence of her being Liberty, so she's not worried about it. <laughs> That's why she, you know, she said, yeah, so what do you know? What are you going to do? There's no proof of it probably out there. I probably wiped out all that information, so there's no proof that she was Liberty uh, in the public, unless, unless it's hidden somewhere. And uh, and now Homelander, see, my Homelander was losing it. Uh, uh, and then he had that fantasy where he just started lasering people in half, he, like lasers, lasers all that protest crowd. But see, Stormfront, she knows she got him by the balls. She knows how to perfectly manipulate him. Okay. And unlike that, uh, that Elizabeth Shue's character from last year, I forgot what her character's name was, she can actually hold her own against home front, uh, against, against Homelander. Okay, so, and see, she's just perfectly using him uh, to further her aims. Now, I don't know if she wants to try to take out Vought from the inside, although I, I, I have to imagine that Vought, that Vought has something to stop them ultimately in case they try to, t you know, turn on Vought in case Homelander and her, because it looks like she's trying to get, you know, trying to slowly take over. Okay, take over the Seven first and then probably take over Vought. But I'm saying Vought has to have some kind of a, a, a backup plan or something, so, you know, to prevent that from happening. Like they And they know that she was Liberty and stuff. So I'm sure they have and they have some kind of fail safe. And I fail safe maybe, what you call it, uh, Black Noir, because you see what he could do. You see what he can do. He's like, he's like indestructible. So they rigged that thing with explosives, and he, I think it was three. We had three loud booms, and he survived that. <laughs> so, you know, he's like, forget about. It. He's like indestructible, and he may be uh, about secret weapon. And you know, because you see what happened, right? As soon as they put, you know, <laughs> it seems like they, he's perfectly in control. He was going off mission. 
Homelander didn't know that he was going after Butcher. Okay, he was just doing that, you know, he's doing that. He wasn't doing it on his own. Like I said, Edgar probably told him, go ahead and, you know, to kill them and stuff. So he's not, so he may be, Black Noir may, may be the secret weapon that, that he he has on his in his pocket in case Homelander and Stormfront try to step out and he can take them out. Uh, anyway, and now he's eight, May, Queen May, you know, now that her girlfriend is, is public and everything like that and she's scared to death. And you know that that if she goes, she goes away, home home for, homelander will find her and kill her. So you got to keep her close. But now she's gonna try to enlist the help of the deep. And she probably can help enlist what's called too, because A Train he's pissed off <laughs> too now that he's getting kicked out of the seven. And, although, like I say, he got a weak heart, so I don't know if they can uh, fix that issue. And then so it looks like we're heading for I don't know maybe it's gonna be part of the seven against. Maybe it's gonna be the Deep, Queen Maeve, Starlight, and Black Noir, right? Against Homelander and Stormfront. Are they gonna splinter? You never know how, how this is gonna play out. Are they gonna fight against, you know, maybe the Seven is gonna implode against each other. But like I said, I, Bot has to have some kind of secret in, in case Homelander uh, steps out of line. And and he has to know, Edgar is smart enough to know that about Stormfront, that she, you know, she was a Nazi. Yeah, she's a white supremacist, and she, and she may not even, you know, she's using them, you know. And I like what she, how she had that conversation with uh, A Train right there. Uh, uh, you could tell from that conversation right there, she, oh, yeah, she's she, she, she complete racist. Oh, but I do feel, although I don't know, they make you try to make you feel sympathy for A Train and. And, and and the deep, and Queen May. We got all these people against Homelander, and Homelander now he's find his his kindred spirit, his uh, sick partner who can perfectly manipulate him, Stormfront. So I just want to see how it plays out, okay, in the end. And now we oh I've got about Frenchie and the and the girl. She's you know because she you know she's hurting and she's hired herself out as an assassin. And you saw the way she ripped that guy's face. I said oh my. God, she just ripped the whole bottom half of his face. Oh my God, she is deadly. Now, but I'm hoping she can come around. Uh, Frenchie seems like he's washed his hands of her now that she's embracing her hurt and stuff. But hopefully that can get corrected and stuff. And hopefully maybe when when Butcher and and Mother's Milk and Huey come back, maybe they can corral corral her back into the group because it's. Because this may be the time, because the Seven is very vulnerable, okay, with Homelander getting manipulated by Stormfront, and now you got Starlight, the Deep, and Queen Maeve. You never know. Maybe it'll be. I'm just interested to in see how it plays out, because a lot of balls juggling in the air. You got to see how they play out, and like I said, Black Noir may be the secret weapon that Edgar has in case Homelander steps out of line, <laughs> okay, because it looks like. Uh, Black Nora can't be hurt. I don't know what his powers are. I know in the comics that he's supposed to be like another clone of uh, of Homelander. Uh, but I don't know if they may change that around in, on the show. But he is powerful. So, you know, maybe he is... Uh, and he looks like he's loyal, too. He's loyal to at least to Vought. <laughs> okay, because you see he did that mission. He did a mission to kill Butcher without telling Homelander. So, so he's perfectly, you know willing to follow orders from Vought, so he may be that secret weapon in case St Homelander and Stormfront decide to get ambitious and try to take over Vought, and they'll sick Black Noir on them. But anyway, let me know what you think of this episode. This episode was was good, and uh, again, this show, I'm, I'm loving this show, and I can't wait to see it. Now we got uh, three more episodes to go. I'm just seeing how this season going to end. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below and let me know what you think. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, Paul Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.